This is a Nikkor 35mm f1.8G fully automatic electronic Nikon DX lens. Just rented it today from borrowlenses.com and I put my inexpensive Nikon G to micro four thirds adapter on it to see if we can adjust the aperture with the adapter. Let's take a look. So I think we can see down the business end of the lens and we can, there we go. Here, let's see if we can do that without the ring light messing it up. But there's the aperture opening and closing, opening smoothly and closing smoothly with manual control from the inexpensive adapter. And so whether you have an older Nikon G lens like this old 28 to 80 or you have a newer Nikon G lens like this 35 millimeter f 1.8 G even if it doesn't have an aperture ring on the outside and it's a fully electronic lens what Nikon has done which Canon has not done is they put a little lever I don't know if you can see but you can open the you can see the aperture opening and closing from the back with this little lever and it's exactly the same as the lever on the older lens so there you're opening and closing the aperture with the lever and that's what the adapter does there's a pen that slides back and forth and that actuates that lever and it works exactly the same on the newer lenses where you can open and close the aperture with that with that lever and so with you just you, you snap the adapter onto the back of the Nikon G lens and you have full manual control of the aperture well I hope that clears up for it clears it up for anybody who might have been confused by the discussion on reddit that we had where some folks thought that just because there was no aperture ring on these fully electronic Nikon lenses that you could not control them with an inexpensive adapter. Turns out that you can. So thanks for watching and this is the hybrid camera revolution. More camera power to the people.